Welcome to Bag on Two Wheels. Um, quick video installing the quad lock motorcycle uh, mirror mount. Hi, welcome to Bag on Two Wheels, Ian here. Um, a quick uh, video on installing the um, the quad lock mirror mount onto my um, Triumph Tiger. Um, along with it, I've also ordered a vibration dampener and a wireless charging head. So. We'll open these, we'll see what's in them, and then um, I will endeavor to uh, install them on the bike, okay? So, first off first, I had one of these before on the, uh, the Honda. Unfortunately, when the bike got stolen, the thing got stolen with it, so, um, you know, that's how it works, I guess. So, put the stuff out of there and away. Okay, so what do you get with this? Obviously an installation booklet. In various languages. Um, you get the clamp, effectively. Which are these two parts? So they'll clamp onto whatever round um, bar you've got of varying sizes, and these uh, inserts here would go round. We've got a split in the middle, so you can put it over whatever round bar you've got, depending on what size. Um, I've got to be honest; I am a little bit concerned that the bar I've got isn't going to be big enough. But um, listen, unless we try, we won't know. So uh, that will probably be the one that I'm using. A little slide in it there, put it over the bar, put the two bits around it, do them up, and then install. Got the Allen key there as well. Look at that. So Allen key, clamp, and then this, which is a quad lock device. Um, I've already got the phone cover and the phone obviously um, so it's a particular cover that goes with the quad lock as you can see it's got this uh, section in here which then locates onto these when it's on the bike you basically turn it through 45 to 90 degrees and it's clicked onto there okay and then it's it's pretty secure to remove. You then do the opposite, push that down and take it out. So generally speaking, I was I was happy with it on the um, on the Honda, and I'm hoping that where I've decided to put it, it just gives me another um, option. As if you've seen any of my other videos on the bike, you you know that. Um, the bike comes with a, a sort of sat nav uh, guidance, if you like, albeit not the same as uh, a, a sat nav with, with a map as such. So you can't see the the layout of the road ahead. You just see sort of like turn right two hundred yards ahead or something. So um, okay, but it also get it also should give me the option to um, to then put other um, applications on it, sort of like your, your green boots and things like this. So, so I've, got a, I've got an app that will give me um, various, uh, maybe green lanes and, and bits and pieces like that. So I should be able to play that at the same time. That's the theory. Okay, so what next? Okay, so let's go with the vibration dampener. Um, I've had issues with my phone 
with the camera before. And obviously a bike. So this one again comes with uh, installation instructions. In all sorts of languages, but better still, the pictures. Okay. So, put that to one side there as well. So, uh, it's own, got its own Allen key. I'm assuming they're all the same anyway, to be honest. Um, and this would take place of one of the other sections from here. I'm guessing. Okay, we'll have a look at the uh, map when it comes to installing. So, a section of this would go, that would then probably sit on top. Uh, it may only be the, has it got a longer bolt on this? Has it got any bolts on there? So, my guess would be that something else is, is going there. Okay, so that's what we've got. So you've got a dampener, it's got little rubber sections, take out any vibration coming through the uh, handlebars, etc. And vibrating your phone. Okay, simply enough. Great, wireless charging head. Why you might ask, well, if it's on the front of the bike, there's a there's a uh, compartment you can charge your phone in, link it up, Bluetooth, etc., to the um, to the dash. Uh, the problem with that being, if I want to use a different app, it's not it won't necessarily come through the app. It doesn't it won't come through the dash, sorry, because it doesn't um, it doesn't replicate your phone. It just gives your phone the ability to uh, interconnect with it. So. The whole reason of getting this extra device on the bike is to enable access to to other apps rather than having to dismount you know get off the bike and get your phone out or whatever so there we go that's set of instructions for mounting and setting up this what does it come with well it comes with the comes with leads. It comes with two leads. I don't know if one's a spare or one's uh, maybe one's just shorter than the other. That would be my preferred one. Um, little bag with longer screw in there, Allen key, and some cable ties. And finally, the bidder kit itself. Um, it would sit this way on. There's your, there's your, your quad lock. So that would um, your phone would sit end up sitting directly on top of this. So it's above these, and then it would sit, and you'd lock it on into place as so, and then uh, push down to remove. That's the. Uh, what we think? Okay, so. There we have all the, the necessaries to install this onto the bike. So, next step would be the bike. Right, okay, so now we have the bike. I've checked out the smaller one on the, smaller of the fillers on the bar, and as you can see, Oh, far too loose. So, with the wonders of modern technology, there's some insulation tape and a Sharpie. I've put some tape around, coloured it in black so it's less obvious. And this now sits over the top. Just barely, that will, that will hold on tight. So, what we do then is, I will determine to put that, I'll put the slot down the bottom there. I don't 
think it makes any difference. But uh, Now I guess the thing we have to be mindful of while we're putting this in is where this is going to sit. Now it's going to have a bit of a gap anyway from there because it's got a it's got a damper on there and the charger, so it's probably away. So it can either be out there, which takes up part of my screen. Alternatively, I could put it on this side, which is okay. Or can I maybe put it up a little bit more a bit of an angle towards me as a as a rider? That probably still fit in there. It may need, we may need to adjust it afterwards, but I'm gonna just tweak it up a little bit towards me as a rider. So hopefully it'll um be in the right place. Now, if it doesn't do up tight enough, I can put some more tape around it. You've got that, that little bit of give there is in the tape anyway. But anyway, I'm sure that's uh, Fine, for these purposes. Um, so, what we would normally do next is would we, we would put this onto there and the, the phone would then click into that. Because we've got the, the damper going on, it will be the damper that goes on next. It's got a little screw already in there, access through the thread and there is no right or wrong direction to put this, obviously I'm just putting it back front, which you won't be able to do, um, I'm gonna, maybe it's anal, I don't know, but I'm just gonna do it so that it looks as if at least one of them is going up. And straight up, straight down. Okay. okay, so that gives us our damping. So then, if all you've got is the, the log and the damper, then that would go onto there, and then you put your phone on that. Because we've now got the wireless charger what we do with this is we put that on the table and we discard that for a time when we don't want the wireless charger okay we so let's undo this maybe I should have done that first but hey huh right so Also need to have a look and see where my um ah, there it is there. you get two leads with this one is uh 500 mil long and the other one's a meter and a half um for me my um let's get that in the right place I'm going to attach the smaller one to this because my charger leads down here. So I'm fitting my charging point. So I'm thinking between there and there, that's as much cable as I need. 
I'm going to pop that in first. It is slightly, uh, yeah, it's got a little bit of a ridge there for waterproofing. So, we can have it. Which way does it suggest? I don't know why it would suggest that uh, in particular. But any difference regarding no it's the same all the way around so there's there shouldn't be any issue regarding ingress so I'll pop it on that way and then it's got a little button on the uh, on the base of it, uh, behind this little mark here, this is an indicator that it's actually on. Um, to be honest, I'm guessing your your phone's going to hide that no matter which way it goes. So we only need that in the, the first instance if we've got. I suppose if we're plugging it in and then going from there. So. So let's say it clips on and off. Right. So where we have it. Um, so if I look at that, click it on. It's on this side. All right. It vibrates there, but it that's in order to reduce, no, it's not going to go on that way. So push, the tiger is going to be a bit of an issue with this one because, ah, oh, you can get behind it. In fact, that's good. So it'll probably end up being on this way. Got some leverage on that. So we'll address that. Okay. So um that <laughs> that's not a USB port. That's um, a plug-in adapter. Okay. So you get the idea. The phone will go in there and that's fixed to it. Got a charger and um, some form of damping. Okay. There'll be another video the next video I'll do for this will um, I'll show you where I wired it to. Okay. There we go. I should have I should have checked that first. I thought it was a USB port. My apologies. I'll 
to the next one. Okay, so the phone's on the bike. Um, I've put the phone into the holder. The weight of it has, has pulled the device down, so I will need to readdress that. Probably stick a bit more tape around it so it's tighter. If not, use um, some other medium in order to make sure it stays where it's meant to. Um, and I'll be plugging in a, a little adapter for USB into that port there so that I can uh, have it plugged in and then when whenever it, if it's raining and things then we can take it out so that because uh, it's uh, as eggs is eggs it's not going to be waterproof um, the phone gets a bit of protection from the from anything coming up off the road and um, that so annoying so anyway so that's that we'll see what it's like when we get out on the road and uh, give it a bit of a whirl um, for those of you that um, like stickers there was also stickers in the uh, quad lock box so um, there you go stickers right um, I hope you enjoyed the video it was um, somewhat uh, educational in so far as put a bit more tape on there for argument's sake um, but you get the idea if you like the video press the like button um, if you've seen some of the others and you you want to subscribe then uh, it'd be nice to see some more people and by all means comment um, I do respond to the comments it may not be on the day depends what time of day it is because it's normally when I open my iPad um, that I will respond um, because for some reason I can't do it off the iPhone weird I will be asking people about that um, yeah so until the next one take care stay safe okay look I can't leave it like that um, so um, I just take it off again I took all the tape off. I took the the middle of the um, adapters out, put it inside the smaller one, trimmed it back to fit, put that on, tied it up, and um, yeah. So now it's all it's all cushy. So as you can see, um, it's not moving now. Give it a bit of a belt about a bit so you can see. Um, yeah, it's secure. So, um, the adapter is down there. Or, the, sorry, the, um, the charging point or whatever is down there. Um, just need to get the adapter for it. Whether it's the one that fits out from the car or, um, whether I have to buy one from Triumph, I'll get it sorted in the correct way. I couldn't leave it. With um, uh, you thinking that the quad lock don't work, obviously it works to a degree. It would normally go onto mirrors. Mirrors have got a bigger, thicker stem, as we can see from there. Um, and this one is only a, a small bar going across, so probably about six mil or, or whatever. I think the lowest one is ten mil. So, apologise to um, quad lock. If it made it look like it didn't work, it works. Uh, but I'm using it for a different purpose, that particular one. There's lots of different varieties, I know. Um, but I had to choose something that would hopefully work properly for me. Okay. Um, so that's the final bit. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. Ta-da. Bye.